Reading. Welcome to Sea Land, the world's smallest country. You might think the story sounds dramatic enough already, but there's more to it. In August 1978, a German businessman hired some mercenaries and attacked Sea Land while Bates was staying in England. They took Michael hostage. However, Bates would not let Sea Land be taken without a fight, so he came back with his own mercenaries to rescue his son. The German businessman was put in the Sea Land jail and wasn't released until a German diplomat was sent from London. Bates and his family claimed. This is the second official recognition of Sealand. Now, Sealand claims to be the world's smallest country, and even has its own money, stamps, and passports. For a while, the micronation made money by housing the first data haven called Haven Co. This service allowed people across the world to store their information. Without governments being able to access it, however, Haven Co. went out of business in 2008, and it's not clear if Sealand offers similar services now. It does make some money from giving titles, such as lordships, for a fee, though. Honorary titles have been offered to stars, such as TV host Ben Fogel and Canadian reporter. George Strombolopoulos for helping Sealand in various ways.